Welcome to our channel. I'm Darius Grant of DIY Power Couple. In this video, I'm going to show you how I build custom train shells for my son as a part of his room makeover. Home improvement. With love. We had to find a way to store the Lionel O scale model trains and old tracks my son had. We looked on Amazon, but the train shelf prices and designs didn't fit the layout we had in mind. At the home improvement store, there were a variety of shelves, but they were not long enough for all of his trains. My wife suggested that we build our own custom train shelves from the extra pieces of plank flooring we already had installed in our house. It was an affordable solution, so we created a layout of the room and measured how long the planks needed to be. I connected the planks and grabbed our speed square to measure and mark off 10 feet of plank. That was the custom fit measurement from my son's room. I cut the width of the plank with my circular saw. You can see how thick they are. Then I cut the seven inch planks in half to three and a half inches each. This turned out to be a great width for the model train tracks and the three inch wall brackets. I measured a Northern Pacific Lionel locomotive to make sure it would easily fit on the plank. We used the backside because the shelves were gonna be mounted high. I placed old, old scale three rail tracks in the center of the plank to make sure the shelf would be balanced. I took a 1 16th twist drill bit and drilled two separate starter holes in the left and right side of the track. Then I used tiny wooden nails for DIY craft projects and hammered them into the plank. I repeated each step of the process on the back end of the train shelf. Drywall screws were drilled into the plank to stop the trains from derailing at the front and back of each shelf. They were created to be buffer stops so the trains would stay in place while on the wall. Black drywall screws can hide between the train connections. I placed trains on the track to test out the new custom shelf and I was happy to see that it worked the way I saw it in my mind. These trains weren't going to derail off this custom train shelf. I placed the stud finder at the top of the painted line where I plan to install the 10 foot train shell. I also measured 16 inches from each stud to see if they would be in the correct place behind the drywall. When I found the right spot, I placed the wall bracket in place and used a level to make sure they were in line with each other. Since this was my first time doing this type of project, I pulled out my 48 inch bubble level to make sure all the brackets were in line while finding the studs and testing to see that they were actually behind the wall. My drill bit would get stuck which let me know I found an actual stud and not just drywall. I want to know, how do you find studs without making a lot of holes? Let me know down in the comments. It'll probably help out a bunch of people. In total, I ended up installing seven brackets on the back wall. We brought the 10 foot custom train shelf in the house to prepare for installation. And my son was so excited that he wanted to help my wife and I put his new train shelf on the wall. 
We held the ends and let him hold the middle. I'm really glad they helped me lift the shelf over the wall brackets. Once the shelf was in place, he could hardly contain himself. That's so cool. To us, the long custom train shelf looks amazing. As a DIY dad, I'm showing my son that he can create and build all the things that he wants. And I'm teaching my daughter that with the right tools in her hand, all things are possible. Hey guys, did you know that you can follow my wife and I on Instagram at DIY Power Couple? Go ahead and check us out. One tip is to push the plank towards the wall and take your time when pre-holing your plank a third of the way so you don't drill through the wood. You can also hold the plank down while you're pushing up with the drill and screw. Using an L-shaped ruler to line up each row of shelves helped us to keep a symmetric look. I used 75 pound anchors that were strong enough to hold the custom train shelves when there were no studs. The screw goes into the anchor, but only after you put it over the bracket. I leveled the wall brackets just like the other shelves, even though the left wall did not have studs for the bottom shelf and needed drywall anchors. Here's a list of tools we used. Now it's time for my son to put his locomotives on his custom train shelf. Sometimes putting trains on the track can be a little tricky. It makes me happy to see how much he really loves his trains. During this custom DIY project, we made sure the shelves were level and sturdy and well built so the trains wouldn't derail while on the wall. Overall, we are well pleased with the outcome of our first custom DIY project. We want you to know that you can DIY too. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. DIY Power Couple YouTube channel is your source to help you unleash your inner DIY power.